In this video, you are going to learn how to use the group by and summarize functions from the deployer package. Let's begin with summarize, which can be spelled with either an S or a Z. The tidyverse is tolerant of both American and British spelling. Summarize is one of the key functions of the deployer package. It produces a new data frame that aggregates the values of a column based on a certain condition. For example, if you wanted to calculate the mean ladder score of all the countries within the happy data frame, you could run the following code. We take our data frame, and then we pipe it into the summarize function. Within the summarize function body, we can apply the mean function to our selected variable. Let's run this to see what we get. We see that the mean happiness of the countries in our data frame is 5.40. So we can see how summarize can be applied to obtain useful summary statistics. That's largely it for summarize. As we can see, it's quite a simple function. However, this function and group by can form a powerful combination that allows you to summarize by groups. To appreciate the power of this duo, we'll be using the original Gallup poll dataset, which we're calling happy full here. While this dataset contains many additional columns and rows, let's just take a look at the region variable. This refers to larger geographical regions that each country belongs to. The whole dataset looks like this, which as you can see is too large to fit on our screen. Let's repeat what we did earlier. So calculate the mean ladder score. But this time, let's do this for each region. Again, we take our data frame, and then we pipe it into the group by function. We then enter the name of the variable we want to group our data by within the group by function. We finally pipe that into the summarize function. So the only difference between this and the previous code is the second group by line. When we run this code, we see that instead of getting just one mean ladder score for our entire dataset, we get the mean scores for each region, of which there are 10 in our dataset. So we can see how we could use these two functions to literally get a global perspective of our dataset. And there you go. You now know how to use both the group by and summarize functions from the deployer package.